All right, so what we're going to do today is we're going to do a tutorial about doing uh, making an app in uh, Android systems using uh, Meet Inventor. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Meet Inventor. And this is an app that makes other apps. I already have an account, so I just have to log in. And here we are. All right, once that we are here, we go to projects and we'll start a new project. And we'll call this tutorial um, joystick. All right, we double click and here we are, continue. And this is what we have so far. So we are, we want to create an app that uh, basically connects to Bluetooth. It will have also uh, a display, display of buttons over here where you can see if um, my robot is um, the push sensor of the robot is hitting an obstacle or not and we also want to uh, have a joystick uh, that controls the robot so let's get started so um, let's start by uh, adding some buttons to the screen so First thing we're going to do is we're going to add a horizontal arrangement, which is right here. We'll drag it, and then there it is. I'm going to put in that arrangement. I'm going to put uh, a button, and I'm going to put also a list picker, which is right here. Perfect. And there, oh, I'm gonna put it there. I there we are. So we have on the screen we have an horizontal arrangement. We have a list picker and a button. Now list picker are the kind of things that we'll use uh, later on to basically show a list of uh, Bluetooth um, that we'll will find in our on our. Mm, device. Uh, to give you an idea what is list picker, it's basically here you can read what it is and it will give you more information about it. The same thing with buttons. So since we are, no, I don't want to make this video too long, um, I'm going to continue. So um, what we're going to do is uh, this list picker, we're going to call it differently since this is what's going to show on my cell phone. So we go all the way down here it says text for list picker and we're gonna call this connect and this is what we're gonna use to connect to Bluetooth and I'm gonna call this I'm gonna change the name well I can leave the name the same for now alright so and we're gonna call this one the button number one we're gonna call it disconnect basically it's gonna when I press on this button, it's going to disconnect from Bluetooth, and I'm going to make this more, more aesthetically correct by changing uh, the width of this to fill parent. That means that it will basically fill the, the cell phone width. And again, this is something you can play with as you go. And I'm gonna put this on the left top, automatic. Yep. And there we go. Now I'm gonna go to screen one. And on screen one, I'm going to. If you notice, the buttons are right here on the left. And what I wanna do is I wanna put in the center. So I go to center here. Now I go to top. And this is the name of the app. Well, it didn't change 
I have to do other things, uh, but I'll come back to it. This is the screen. This is how it's gonna show the application on your on the screen of the cell phone. Over here, there is an option that it says screen orientation. I'm gonna put on a portrait since that's what I wanna do. And this is the name of the screen, which I'm gonna change to joystick Arduino. All right, that's for now what I want. I go back to my list picker. Let me see. All right, so to put this in the middle, we're gonna play with this height, the height and the width. There we go. And over here, we'll put on the center, which is on the center, perfect. I go to disconnect and do exactly the same. Here and there it now it's completely in the middle. All right, so the next thing we want to do is I'm going to put another arrangement, um, an horizontal arrangement, which I'm going to drop right here, and uh, and that's it. I want to put another one, which I'm going to drop right here, and this one is the one that is going to contain the push buttons from the Arduino and uh, and it, this will indicate the user um, if I'm hitting an obstacle or not later on we'll see exactly how this will work but for now I'm gonna put four buttons uh, drop them in here one two three and four all right, and I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna change something over here. The name of this I'm gonna call it left, and this will indicate the left uh, sensor on the Arduino. This will be middle left. Oops, there we go. This will be middle right. And the last one will be the right button, the right push button. Right. All right. Eventually, or later on, these uh, buttons over here will change colors from red to green, indicating if I have hit an obstacle or not. All right. Now, what I want to do here is I want to put this, uh, I want to fill this on the screen. So I'm going to horizontal. And, uh, horizontal arrangement I have done this before so I know what I'm gonna do here basically I'm giving it a height of 60 pixels this is something you have to play with um, based on the type of cell phone that you have you might need a little bit more than 60 pixels or, or a little bit less than that uh, and here I'm gonna put it to fill parent and there we are. Okay, now I want these buttons to be mm, spread out evenly. So we're gonna go to mm, let's go to left first. And this is something again you can play with and see how it's looking on your phone. I have done this, like I said before, so just gonna do this a little bit faster and then I put on the center the name is left this is good so you see how it change now over here for button for the next button I'm going to automatic I'm gonna put the width of 100 pixels and that's about it I'm going for the other one. And this one I'm gonna put a width of 100 as well. And on the last one, I'm gonna do to fill parent with a fill, fill parent. 
and it should look like this for now one two three four all right